Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Celeste Lockpreneur. No, I do not do locks, I'm just an entrepreneur with locks. Okay, so in this video, I want to talk about this so-called ugly phase that we have in this lock community, unfortunately, right? So I've just been hearing this word a lot. I mean, I've heard it, you know, of course, all through the lock journey, you hear people talk about the ugly phase, you hear it mentioned, but like now recently, I was on live, um, on Instagram last week and it came up and then I was watching a video and it came up so I just feel like I you know I just want to put my little two cents in but my two my two pennies are heavy I have two heavy pennies that I want to put in okay so <sighs> with this ugly phase so first let me tell y'all when I was on live last week I went on live on Instagram with the queen named Zaza um, her Instagram name is locked in with Zaza right so we were talking about it and she was like, she hates it, right? Hates when people say the ugly face, hates when people call their locks ugly, absolutely hates it. But then she was like, um, you know, there's no ugly phase. If you want to say that your locks are ugly or your journey is ugly, then that's you. But there's no general my ugly face. Like, no, my locks are beautiful, right? It's your ugly face. That's what she was saying. And I was like, that is so funny. <laughs> Right. I was like, well, you know, because I agree. I didn't have an ugly face. I did not have an ugly face at all. So if you want to call it, you know, that's your business. That's, that's you. But then um, but then, you know, she was saying, like, there shouldn't be an ugly face, though. I mean, replace ugly. Let's call it something else. Let's call it the baby phase. Right. Let's call it the um, maturing phase or the rosebud phase because your locks are in the process of blooming, right? So all these beautiful alternatives that we could use. And I was like, yes, I love that so much. But then, you know, I was reflecting on it a few days after the live. And, you know, I was just thinking the fact that we're calling our crown ugly is so offensive to our creator. Like we're calling god's work god's masterpiece ugly the creator who spent his time energy love effort and everything into forming us and we have the audacity to insult their work by calling it ugly how dare we like that's such a slap in the face and so I was really thinking about that and I was like, I have to share that because how, how can we, something that, that was formed on us. So even like, even more than our hair, if you have a problem with the way your eyes, your mouth, your skin, your skin complexion, your, your, your body size, if you're short, if you're tall, if your arms are long, whatever, the fact that you are complaining about the way that you look. Is such a slap in the face to God. And so we were also to mention God is perfect, right? God is perfect. God can do no wrong. God can make no wrong. So to even like take it just a step further, for someone to call themselves ugly, to say that you are ugly, that God's creation is ugly, you are literally like saying that God's work is imperfect. So that's that's deep. So I just if you have ever called yourself or called someone else, like literally we just need to remove that word because you're literally insulting the most perfect being, the only perfect being's work. So, I don't know, I'm going to just leave that at that. So, right. moving so on. So, you just need to love everything about you, how you look, how you speak, because that's literally... You're God's creation. So for you to have a problem with it, that is, that's literally problematic. You're God's creation. You're beautiful. Everything about you is beautiful, right? So that's penny number one. That's the heavy penny drop number one, okay? Heavy penny drop number two. So I had briefly listened to, um, y'all know Keisha, Keisha Charmaine, because um, she had recently talked about it too. And she was saying how... You know, this all has to do with self-love or self-hate, depending on how you see yourself, self-worth, all that. And she was like, you know, it's a journey. You don't just go from, oh, I hate the way I look to, oh, my gosh, I love myself. Right. And so while I understand and a part of me agrees with that, I kind of don't. Um, when it comes to your self 
love, it just has to be something that you have to make a true effort to do. Like think about think about if if you smoke and you're trying to stop smoking, right? First you have to make that effort, okay, I want to stop smoking. But you can't go from, okay, today I'm not going to smoke, but tomorrow I'm going to smoke. Like it it doesn't it doesn't work like that. You literally have to be like, okay, I'm going to stop saying these things about myself. I'm going to start loving how I look. I'm going to start loving who I am. I'm going to like do that. And every day you are working towards it. There's no, oh, um, you know, today I just not really feeling it. I, I don't like this and I don't like that. And I hate that about me. And then tomorrow it's like, oh, but okay. I'm gonna be. No, you have to make an effort even. And I know it's hard. I'm not saying this is easy. This is going to be hard. And because we're so trained to hate everything about ourselves, I know it's going to be hard. I get it. But you have to make a conscious effort to love yourself. When you think that bad thought immediately, immediately throw it away and come back. If you have to write down, this is what I would recommend actually. If you have to write down, okay, I love this about myself. I love this about myself. I love this about myself. And when that bad thought comes into your head, you have that that good thought ready to knock it out the way. If that's what you need to do, then that's what you need to do. But we can't keep like, and I want to be careful about what I'm saying because I know somebody can be like, oh my gosh, like, oh. Just, I could just hear it. But I truly say this out of love. Like if you want to see yourself as beautiful, if you want to see your locks as beautiful, this is something that you have to do. You have to train your mind to see yourself as beautiful because for so long, we've been told that we're not. So when that negative thought comes in your head, when that negative thing or someone says something negative, you have to train yourself like, no, those are lies. That is not true. I love who I am. I love how I look. You have to do that every day. It is a journey. It takes time, but you can't be like, oh, one day I feel like this. You know, I'm trying this day. And the next day you're just like, you know, <laughs> does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Like you just really have to make an effort, a conscious, true effort to love every part of you from your locks to your feet everything so that's my heavy penny number two <laughs> but yes i just wanted to share like my thoughts on that so-called ugly phase that i never i never liked um i never really i mean i get i understand i'm not gonna lie and say i don't understand why people i understand but like i said to my first point it's an insult it's an insult to god it's a slap in the face to your creator and get rid of it. Like I said, your your alternatives, you can say um, the baby phase, you know, the mature phase, the rosebud. I love that when Queen said that. I love the rosebud phase. But there are options to it. And um, love every part of it. Every part of your journey is beautiful. Like you learn so much about yourself. So I'm not going to hold y'all any longer. I just wanted to you know, say what I had to say and dip out. But thank y'all so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful or was encouraging or anything like that. Sound off in the comments if you do agree. I would love to know what you all think about um, either, you know, my opinion. If you have a different opinion, let me know. I look, it's a, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. But I just want to put a little two, two pennies in and, uh, you know, I be I be minding my locks in my business, you know what I'm saying? I be I be minding my locks in my business, you know. Like I don't want no trouble. I just wanted to put my little two cents in, and and I'm out, and I'm out. <laughs> but if you want, I would love to hear what you have to say. But thank y'all so much for watching. Be, be sure to subscribe to my channel, Celeste Lockpreneur. Follow me on Instagram at Celeste Lockpreneur underscore and also check out my business locks and business it's one of our signature shirts um so you can you can mind your locks in your business too because you know look we don't want no problems over here we just minding our locks and making some money you know what i'm saying but let me stop i'm being silly um <laughs> but yes thank y'all so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next video bye you guys